Hello, 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 hello. hello. There we go. Up. Yep, yep. Alright. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the stream today. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, there's uh, some problems right now because I I think Smash Ultimate. There's something weird happening at the moment. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Cause like, I'm trying to like, set up an arena and I keep getting an error code. I keep getting an error code trying to set up an arena. I don't know what's wrong right now. If the, if I keep getting errors, this might be bad.
because um, I'm trying to do a collab today with someone else from rap. Right? We're trying. The error code I'm getting says it's probably because my internet, but I know that that's not the case because I'm streaming with no issues. So that's a lie. It's not my internet. So what is it? Let me check my Switch internet. No, it's, it's good. The Switch should be fine. Because it, it's plugged in. Let me test connection. It's a wired connection. I'm not sure. Alright, well, we're going to get started regardless. Um, yeah, no, it, it connected really easily. I don't know what is wrong with this, to be honest. But, uh, I'm just going to boot up Smash Ultimate again and we'll see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to get on call with the person on Rat that we are playing with today. His tag is Healer. So let's go ahead and boot up the call. I'm going to turn down the music a tad so that we can mostly hear the Discord call. And let's boot it up. Chat, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, Chat. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. This is the first time I'm doing something like this with another rat boy. Hello, good sir. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing good. I'm eternally uh, never on time, but uh, I I kind of made it on time, so that's okay. It's fine. I've been having I've been trying to figure out issues with the uh, Smash Online right now. I keep getting an error code when I try to make an arena. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's kind of worst case scenario. We just start with the tier list first. Okay, that's true. That gives you enough time to just see what's happening. Bam, bam, bam. Hopefully you can join that. If you don't, that's a, a little bit scary. But otherwise, we're, we're kind of good. I got an error code and I looked it up and it's like, it says the error code is probably for internet connection. But I know it's not my internet connection because I'm streaming right now with absolutely no issues. So I know that's yeah. a lie. <laughs> Maybe it's just one of those turn it on and off kind of things. I did turn the switch off already. Oh. I'm out of solutions. All right. Connection errors occurred again. That is rough. I think here's what I'm here's what I'm thinking. Let's just start with the tier list and then after we're done with that, we'll um, we'll just boot it up again. Okay, okay, okay. And if it doesn't work, we will cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> we'll we'll figure it out when that comes. All right, chat. Let me close this. Okay, how are you thinking? How are you thinking we go for the tier list? Like bottom to top or top to bottom? Um, we can do whatever you want, but how I'm gonna like do it? I'm gonna like screen share it in the call, and we can do that that way. Works with me. Chat. This is one of the first times I'm using push to talk on Discord. Um, it's kind of interesting. I haven't I done it in a long time before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a moment. Everything's with this. plugged in, right? I think I'll do okay. Everything's plugged in, yeah. Cool. All right. Here we are. Let me screen share this to you. All right. Bam. Bam. Okay, I see it. All right. So here we go. We're going to start off with the tier list, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking uh, I'll let you pick. Do you want to start top or do you want to start bottom? Uh, uh, we can start from bottom because that's that's basically where like the easiest picks are and then as you go up that's where it gets that's where it gets just way more saucy what's tier list for just general smash we'll ultimate tier list the, it's just we're making it like together so it'll be interesting it'll be interesting to make it together like with an input of someone else here so yeah uh so i think everyone can agree for the most part worst character in the game if i can find him where is this big beefy gerudo boy i think i saw him up top 
Here he is. There he is. My main for literally all of pre-lockdown, Ganondorf. He's just... Oh. The poor guy, I feel bad for him, honestly. But honestly, I like that he's kind of the worst character in the game because when I used to play him, I would I was a very big proponent of, oh, he's the worst. Why are you losing? Yeah. <laughs> I I love that argument when you're playing low teaser, you're just like, Wow, you're really losing to the worst character in the game. That says a lot about uh, you, huh? Exactly. It was very Yeah, that's I, I I'm half convinced that's why Ganondorf mains play him, to be honest. For me, for Ganondorf, I'm so glad that he's, like, the worst character in the game because his moves are so, like, good in a vacuum. And it's like the Incineroar thing where he has good moves, but it's just like, oh my god, he cannot use them. His movement is so yeah. bad, and I don't want it to be any better. Because I don't want to think about Ganon if he can, like, actually move. Yeah, if Ganondorf's up B went twice the distance and he was, like, 20% faster, god help us all, you know? Uh, I don't even, I don't even want to think about it. I've seen so many people that can work with his like already garbage movement and they're, they can make, they can do some things and he's already the worst character in the game. So I just don't want to, I don't want to think about how good he can get. All right. Um, now here's the thing. Like a few months ago, I would have just slapped Dr. Mario in there without any thought, but I don't know. There's a little bit of, you kind of like what a major. <laughs> there's a little bit of controversy over Dr. Mario. People are saying he's still second worst. Some people are saying Esam put him in like mid tier. Uh, he got a lot of flack for that. Honestly, what are you thinking about second worst? I'm thinking there are some candidates here. I'm willing to hear you out on this one. I think uh, there's so many characters I want to put in there, but like. Like I want to, I want to say Little Max in there, but he he just keeps getting results. Even though it like, when you just like think about how he works as a character, he's just so bad. How about this? Let's fill out E tier and then we'll decide the order. Okay, okay, okay. So I, we can put I Mac in there. Uh, I still think that uh, it's like Ganondorf, Little Mac, Doc. Like those three are just like the three like you probably cannot survive at like the top top level with them i'm kind of willing to put doc in d you know what you know what? that's probably fair that's fair you know he has gotten results and it's been like i want i want to say semi hello Layla and giga chad there at least a couple times yeah true uh another character is that's down there a ton is piranha plant oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah i think piranha plant is just patooey I don't think there's any other redeeming factor about that character. Yeah, no, I, I have to agree. No disadvantage, no recovery, barely any neutral. His side V is like useless if the other person just disregards it and runs through it. Mm -hmm. We'll, I don't know about Dr. Mario. We'll, we'll throw him down here for now, but we should, we should, we'll talk about whether we should raise him or not. Uh, eh. uh, All right. DDD could probably go down here too. I, oh, I want to put him at the top of E, to be honest. I want to say top of E, I think. Compared to the other characters, yeah, okay, I think he's, I think he's kind of in that vein. Because I feel like he's just, a, he's like a little bit better, but he's also just a gimmick. And if you understand the matchup, he just kind of folds. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm either gonna put him top of E or bottom of D. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So it really just depends on how much faith we have. Um, now here's the thing. I think this is, I don't think there should be that many characters in E, in E tier, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think there's really, like, like, bottom, bottom tier characters. My take right now is that we could probably move Dr. Mario and maybe DDD into D. I think so, I think so. So, let's keep these three at the bottom. Cause I think. Oh, not plant, not plant, no. Not plant. Cause I think I think Doctor Mario. I think I think Gan is obviously the worst. I think Piranha Plant's probably the second worst because Little Mac has just gone that much that many results. I think I think his results are mostly just the players are so good, but they've mm -hmm. been able to make him work, so it still counts in my in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, the results. If we want to talk about results carrying Doctor Mario, only reason he's not second worst is because of the results he's gotten. Absolutely. And that, 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 I don't know, results speaks a lot for me. For sure, for sure. Um, now, a few characters I know some people are going to be talking about. Lucario and Marth. Uh, what's your, what's your thoughts about Marth? 
Okay. As as like a, a diehard Marth player, I've been just grinding him for like the past two years. It's kind of mid. Yeah, <laughs> he, here's my thing. I've seen people put Marth in bottom five, and they have oh. like Lucina in top 15. And listen, I'm not here to argue that Lucina is better than Marth. He, or that Marth is better than Lucina. Marth is not better than Lucina, but there's no way that they're that far away on the tier list, no. right? I, we gotta put Marth in C at least. I think Marth in C. I think the thing for me with Marth is that even though his hitboxes and everything kind of suck, he still got the Lucina frame data. It's not right? like he can't hit you. He can. It's just not gonna kill. I'm thinking like bottom of C is a good place for Marth right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that works. Uh, and like, Lucario, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling above Doc and DDD for sure on Lucario. Doctor Mario is not bad. Between Doc and DDD. Loopy, we were talking like, about Doctor like Mario. Doc has gotten more results than Lucario because Lucario it's just Armadillo and even then Fair. he's just kind of like. Yeah, you know what? I see that. I see that. We'll put we'll put him in between. I'm just a Lucario like apologist, I guess. <laughs> That's fair. So, I get it. I understand why he's, he can be so scary to play against in tournament, but his moves are just so bad. <laughs> like, they mm -hmm. just, they, they copped him out on literally everything except for, like, I don't know, his neutral beat. That's it. I'm looking at other characters right now. A lot of people would put Ice Climbers down here, and oh. I don't want to fall victim to recency bias. I think Ice Climbers could probably go into C. I think guys, are in C. I think they're. Viable. I think they're above Marth. I think yeah. I think they're viable in the same vein that Marth is, but you just have to work so hard to like get good results with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Big D is just he's just that good of a player. Uh, put Lucario down there. We did. Doctor Mario is not bad. Doctor Mario. The only reason Doctor Mario is not right here is because of, think we don't think he's bad. Kind of goes. I'm not sure if Isabel's in like C or D. Too. Yeah, I was like, thinking about like, Isabel. I wanted to. I kind of want to put Isabel like maybe above Doc. Above Doc at least, right? I think, I think she goes above Doc because she can she can zone at least. Doc is like he's struggling on almost every end until he gets a hit in but Isabel doesn't really have to like force a way in to get that hit mm -hmm. I'm looking at all the rest of these characters here the me gunner and me sword fighter we're gonna have to talk about I think oh, I forgot about me gunner yeah because here's the thing I think both of them I think oh, under under doc for sure for both of them right yeah yeah I think so I think me gunner is by far the worst because me sword fighter has some like okay normals, but me gunner. Mm -hmm. is... You think we put me gunner like below DDD? I think I'd put me gunner below DDD. Yeah, I think I'd even put them next to like piranha plants. Mm. To be honest. Do we like, wanna do we wanna have me gunner like top of E? I think I think top of E. Yeah. Me sword fighter. Me gunner like viable. Yeah, that's true. Me sword fighter. I kind of want to put in between Lucario and DDD. I think so, I think so. Me Sword Fighter is like barely there as like a counterfeit character. Mm -hmm. I think he has like I think he has like a use. It's like a very niche use, but he at least he has something. He is just pure Gorgonzola. Cause if you're playing me Sword Fighter, you're going for cheese. You know what I'm saying? He's just he's just be pressing B for confirms. There is a guy who comes into my arena who plays me sword fighter and his name on the Nintendo Switch is B up B kill. I get it. So, <laughs> so like that that says all you need to know about the character honestly. Is Ganon the worst? Absolutely. Yeah. Um what else are we thinking? Are we are we thinking that that might honestly cuz like for C tier I don't know. I'm thinking maybe maybe we should drop Ices and Marth down to top of D because I'm looking at how many tiers we got left and like I cannot look at a single character and be like yeah that's the same tier of Ices and Marth you know actually yeah maybe Zelda Zelda Zelda's like uh, I think she's worse than both of those characters worse than both do you want to do like bottom of C I think I think like yeah like very bottom of C like probably every other character in C could go below them I'm sorry Layla <laughs> Um, I don't know. Let's let's think about some other ones. The Belmonts. Belmonts. Uh, oh. Top of C, right? I think they're top of C. I think they're a really good counterfeit character for specific matchups. 
Like as far yes. as the tactical zoner goes, they can just do work. It's a matchup check for sure. I think, um... I think their specials are like not as good as I thought they were at the beginning of the game, but they're still up there. Yeah. Um. So we got. There are some characters that I we people are considering. Uh, so like people, I think Toon Link would be brought up at this point. Probably Sheik would probably be brought up. Rosalina. Uh, what character are you thinking we might fill in here next? Uh, out of those three, I think the worst would probably be, uh, in C tier. I think it would just be more of those like textbook zoners that don't really have those boxing tools, like uh, Duck Hunt, that kind of stuff. You think Duck uh, Hunt is in C? I think it's like, ah. Uh... I don't know that much about Duck Hunt, to be honest. I'm just kind of spitballing here. Who is this? This is Healer. He's another member of Rag Gaming. That's, We're that's doing a tier list like together. Textbook zoner kind of characters usually just don't do that well. I would put Duck Hunt in B, honestly. In B? I'm good for like, for like B tier, yeah. Here's the thing. Do we want to just like cut off C tier right here? I feel like, oh, are there characters that could fit in there? I'm looking around. We can, we can definitely come back if there's something else we want to see. Um, yeah. I, because I, I feel like Rosalina and Sheik are both probably good enough to be in B, and I'm an infamous Toon Link apologist, so I don't want to put them down there either. As far as Toon Link goes. Oh, heavies too. Heavies? Oh, because like K Rule, K Rule should be here. Bottom of C. I think K Rule's like bottom of C. I think he has enough movement and stuff, and like the armor. Dude, his there. <laughs> I'd put K Rule in between Ice Climbers and Marth. I think that I think that works. I think he he's good enough to just get results like Kirby can stuff. They can just abuse yeah. his strengths and not like uh, fall to his weaknesses. Yeah, his stuff. strengths are really strong, but his weaknesses are really weak. Yeah. Um. I feel with like uh, DK to an even bigger yeah. extent. Yeah. Because DK's advantage take was kind of crazy. Someone oh brought God. up DK, and I just had a flash of like, oh, wait a minute, there's a ton more bad characters we haven't talked about. Like Kirby, or, you know, Ridley. Oh, I think and, um, Kirby's in this. I think Kirby's in C. Like, Kirby's in C, C, top of C. I agree with that. Because he's got, he got some good matchups. I'm pretty sure Addicted he's to Smash this week? Yeah, we are, zero. With, did you put like, Simon ahead uh, of Zelda? We did. I'm sorry. He's, he's that short. Mm-hmm. Um... I feel like Ridley could genuinely be bottom of B. Uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. So much by his recovery. I I think I actually want to put Ridley top of C, and then we can put DK and B. I think I think so. I think DK is like really balanced in his like strengths and weaknesses. I feel like yeah. Horrible, but his strengths are also outstanding. DK is definitely like the second best heavy. He's up there with Bowser, in my opinion, for like good yeah, heavies. Yeah. And like it got the viability got proven. Um, yeah, oh my god, dude, the Hikaru versus uh, Gloomy mm -hmm. And one more thing, I'm I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like Villager and Toon Link could probably go in this tier as well. I think they're I think they're about the same because they're. They both have some like really good parts about them, but they're also struggling in like the uh, yeah. like, boxing, recovering, that kind of department. Here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Villager below Ice Climbers. I'm thinking Toon Link below Ridley. Toon Link? Actually, yeah, I put him in the same tier. I I put them I put them there. Yeah, yeah. There's like Toon Links. I live in. And like the PNW region, there's just like just a weird amount of Toon Links that are all getting good results. Thank you, Omega, for the follow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do an alert. I think so. I'm starting to just become a, like a Toon Link believer. I think Streamlabs is being weird today, so I didn't do an alert. Yeah, I I've been playing Toon Link a lot. He's got good combos, genuinely. Um, yeah. He's kind of like a less refined Young Link, in a I sense. Think so. Like if you're playing Toon Link over Young Link, it's because you like that character more, not because you think yeah. they're better. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, like stylistically. Yeah. Arrow Arrow is the only Toon Link projectile that doesn't do that much. Doesn't have a combo out of it. Side B and Down B are really good for like combos. I was at a tournament the other day. And here's the thing about my Toon Link. I only play Toon Link against people I know I'd be anyways. Um stringing together back airs like against heavies is so fun. I have I've gotten some clips I'm going to upload soon about like just carrying this poor K-Roll to the edge of the stage, you know? 
Yeah, I think he's got. He's some got some sauce. Combos once you get the setups, I think he just has less options overall than Young Link because Young Link can just kind of convert. Mm -hmm. everything Young Link has. is a lot more, a lot more free, a lot less exploitable. Um, yeah. so here's question. I'm looking at the rest of the characters we have so far. I think there's probably only one that I want to consider in C tier, maybe one or two before we move on to the next tier. Bowser Jr. and Sheik. What do you think about those two characters? Sheik? Uh, Sheik, I think as far as like potential goes, I think she's like high B tier. Because like the more time goes on, you just kind of realize how like like stupidly high her skill ceiling is like she's a good character in a vacuum but like the how long it takes to get there the game will be like long dead by the time somebody could like come close to mastering her i'm so okay with she can be but i don't know about top of b i think i think like middle of b that i'm okay with that compromise yeah uh what it's do we think about bowser jr uh bowser jr i i'm I've talked to a lot of people that are like Bowser Jr. believers. And they, mm -hmm. they just talk about his strengths all the time, but I think his weaknesses are just that, like, glaring. Like, uh, his moves... Are I just... think... Yeah, you, you go on, sorry. I think I think his moves are just, like, kind of mediocre. Like, his his side B is good. It's just kind of worse spin dash, but it's got a little bit of armor. It's got, like, like some cheese to it. His down B is just really okay. His neutral B is kind of useless. His up B is, it's it's good as a combo. Dang. Tool. Like it's a really good for taking early stocks, but as far as like recovering goes, it's really linear. And if somebody gets like that uh, up B air dodgery, you could just die off of it. So, do you want to put Bowser Jr. top of C, and then that's it for C tier? I think I think top of C, because I think Bowser Jr. could reasonably beat every character that's below him on the tier. Absolutely. List. Who is this? Uh, we're talking to Healer, fellow she member of Rad Global. Of B for me. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna move on to B tier now, and oh, bottom wait. of B. I forgot entirely about Robin. <laughs> oh shoot! That's oh, we fit to too. We need to talk about. I think. Oh, we fit. I don't know. I'm feeling we fit like below Bowser Jr. but above Ridley. For me. I play against a really good Wii Fit uh, a lot of times, so I believe in her strengths a lot. Do you want to do you want to put her in B? I think she go. I think she goes in B. She's like a bottom super of B. Good boxer. She's like an absurdly good boxer when she has a uh, deep breathing and her zone. Below is Zelda, really good. please. I think she struggles a lot and like uh, recovering and stuff like that. Sometimes when she's off stage, if you can get a good read on her, her hula hoop and like up B is just really linear. But other mm -hmm. than that, I think she's, like, really good against any character that isn't a sortie. She just kind of plays mm -hmm. the sorties. So, Robin. My initial thought is below Bowser Jr. I'm not going to lie. I think he's worse than Marth. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. His moves... His, okay, Leaven Sword is like gives you some of the best normals in the game. But when you don't have Leaven Sword, I think he's, like... Like me, Gunner tier. If he has to wow. play only on specials and like Bronze Sword, I don't think he's doing that well at all. I can see that. Do you want to go like? I'll go below Ices. I think. I'm fine with. Below I can Ices. see that. Because I think he's really he's kind of got like the Joker with Arsene problem, where if he doesn't have Arsene, he's kind of struggling but with joker he still has like really good normals but robin normals mm -hmm. are like kind of useless his smash attacks are bad his tilt yeah. are bad he has like an okay mm -hmm. he has an okay jab he has a good like killing jab but as far as like neutral stuff goes it's just yeah robin is a very setup based character for sure yeah uh b tier we said we were gonna put dk in this tier dk oh uh, yeah yeah i think he goes in that tier um Oh gosh, Incineroar we forgot about. Incineroar? Okay. After seeing every Incineroar thing, every like good play that Incineroar's mm -hmm. done and like the results that people have gotten, I'm starting to think he's like genuinely like bottom of mid tier. Do you think bottom of like you think like right below Zelda? I think like right. Because uh... I don't know if he's worse than Zelda. I do below K roll. I think with with revenge, I think he's a little bit better than like i 
the we we zone. could put him next to Ridley. Okay, yeah, I think I'd be fine with that. Yeah, because I think he can he can excel. Like, mm -hmm. He can like abuse revenge and stuff like that. Below Zelda, so fellow rat. To just know you can like take eighty from a single hit. Yeah, true. And what was the other character I was thinking about? I was looking at here, and I was like, oh my gosh, we forgot about. Okay, I don't. I, I forgot about. It. I'm sure I'll remember. Um, few characters I want to put in the discussion for B, right? I'm just going to throw them in the tier and we'll talk about which ones we think should be here, which ones we think should be above or below or whatever. I'm thinking about Mewtwo right now. I'm thinking about Ike. I'm thinking about Greninja question mark, but I could see Greninja going higher than that. Ooh, um, spicy take. yeah, I know. Um, I'm just throwing out some mids right now that I think would be good to discuss for B tier. Um, who else are we thinking? Oh, we saw she we said Sheik would be here too. Yeah. Probably I think the pits. I think the Luigi pits. Goes in that tier too. You think Luigi's in here? Okay, I'm okay I think with Luigi's that. In there. We'll we'll do order in a sec. Oh, I think um, Puff's definitely in there. Palu? Not lower. Who? I think Puff is in there. Oh, lower. Puff. Yes, that was the character. Um, Rosalina, I totally forgot about. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd say <laughs> like below Kirby, there. maybe above Kirby. That's... Right here. I think like top, top of C tier. She's like a really, she's like a, she's one of the better setup characters. That's we'll put him right there. Uh, and I think that's it for characters I wanted to discuss and be maybe Crom in there too. Crumb, yeah. Um, maybe Falcon. Oh my God, we forgot Banjo and Kazooie. Oh no. <laughs> <D -tier>. no. <laughs> oh, we, I'm thinking, I'm thinking above Lucario for sure. Above Doc. You know what? I'm a believer. I'll put him at top. You're a believer. I'm kind of a believer. I've seen what online Banjo can do. I've, you know what? Just for Wonder Wing, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with him there. Banjo I'm won the last him. Cheese Bowl. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm putting him top of D. I think that's good. Uh, yeah, another one for B. We need to consider Link. Oh yeah. Um, I I'm concerned. I'm considering Corin too. I think Corin's in there. Yeah. We're putting a lot of characters in here. We'll sort them out later. Um, and then maybe Inkling too. Ooh, Pichu. Pichu I yeah. I think we should put at the bottom of this one to be honest. Oh, Meta Knight? I think he Meta Knight 2 there. should be in here. That's true. I think we're mostly looking good right now. Sh no, not Shulk. Shulk should be high. Sora, maybe. We'll talk We'll talk about Sora, chat. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> we'll talk about Sora. Maybe Falco, but I can see him going higher. Okay, okay. Mega Man, probably at the bottom of this tier as well, to be honest with you. I think, I think I'm like a uh, Mega Man believer, like A tier. Yeah. Hey, interesting. Okay. I think I think I'm a I'm a believer. And I'm looking at the rest of these characters. I think this is where all of them should. I think the rest of the characters. Oh, and Lucas. Lucas oh, should be in this one too. Yeah. Uh, but I think other than that, I think most of the characters that we haven't ranked so far will probably be in either A or S. Yeah. Okay, and now oh. to sort out this mess we've made. <laughs> I think I think Hero's in that tier. I'm gonna be honest. Hero as well. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'll put I'll put this one. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so. Oh gosh, I don't know. We were. I'm gonna say Pichu was probably at the bottom of this tier, right? Pichu's definitely at the bottom. He got. I'd put Puff. I'd put Puff right above him. Puff, yeah. Puff's got somehow better results than Pichu. Pichu, Lucas, Puff, in that order. Yeah. Um. After that, Meta Knight. I think Meta Knight's better than Puff, but not by that much. Yeah. I think he's got he got some results. He's got some stuff he can do. But and then Link. Then it comes down to it. Right. I mean, I'm feeling Link right there too. Link's like he's just kind of like. What about Olimar? We, we well, like I think I'll bring up Olimar. He's like doing one or two we'll talk about like Olimar. Air spamming mode, or he's like really technical, but it's also easy to read him. So he's not winning that much on either end. Mm -hmm. Chat brings up a good point. Do we put Olimar in this tier? Uh, I think in the current meta. In the current meta, I feel like we could put him at the top of this tier. Yeah, because he gets outclassed by so many of the like 
top tier characters because they're all mm. just like sorties, good range, good. They can just like stuff out Pikmin. I can't so find Olimar, so I have no choice but to put Alf at the top okay. instead. <laughs> I'm scared to ask you about Game & Watch. We'll talk about Game & Watch. Uh, Pit definitely goes on the lower end. Because I used to be kind of a believer in Pit. But then I kept playing against Pit players. Mm -hmm. And I just keep falling out of things. I want to go I want to go working. Pit above Link. And then Dark Pit above Pit. Yeah, I think I think uh, Dark Pit's arrows and side B are just a little bit better. I, I, I think Dark Pit... I don't know. I feel like the things that he has over Pit are more valuable. Than what yeah, Pit has over him. I think killing off the side is definitely nice in some situations. It's a little bit debatable depending on what you want, but I think for most cases, Dark Pit arrows hey, just kind of work better. How's it going? They do uh, more knockback. Normal Pit's arrows mm -hmm. are like good for a select few cases where characters just can't like recover. Lamal, what? Like that. <laughs> Chats, other than that, it's like Chats like molding. Dark Pit's arrows. Mm hmm. Dude, I'm looking. I cannot find Olimar on this. <laughs> no, I, there we go. I see him. Oh, you found him. You found him. And now I've lost him again. There he is. Okay. Uh, there you go. Um, and few characters. I think Mewtwo above, Pit, maybe below Pet, honestly. But I think he does. I think he does worse. Oh, yeah. Man. Let's go. Let's go. Mewtwo below Pit, and then Sheik. Like no Do we want to put Sheik above the pits? I think she could go above the pits, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I think she has a similar thing where in, like, a vacuum, she should work, like, really good. But then in practice, it just keeps falling apart. She can't hit her kill confirms. She, everybody keeps falling out mm -hmm. of things. It's at, just, like, that kind of problem. Yeah. At this point, oh, we should have put DK a little lower. Maybe... I think DK's, I think DK's like, in the bottom. Yeah. I'm thinking DK below... I'm thinking DK below Puff. I think so. I think so. And then, I don't know. A few characters I think we should talk about right now. We fit. I could fit. see. I could see We fit being below Sheik. I can. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And then We fit. Yeah. Just that polarizing, and but she probably she probably can be a lot of the characters below her. But it's also like a 50-50 sometimes. I think she'd probably yeah. just lose to a lot of characters above her. The characters who, the people who believe in Wii Fit really believe in Wii Fit. That's true. She's uh, so... Krom, I think below Sheik, but above Wii Fit. <sighs> what do I think about Krom? I'm trying to, all I'm His Krom's not Krom that bad. How bad do I think his recovery is? Yeah. Everything else about him is really good. I'm just like, how bad do I think his recovery is? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not certain that it's that terrible. It's kind of, it's kind I feel of like he's he's got a really good advantage state though. His advantage state is really good. It's hard to get him to the point where he has mm -hmm. to use his recovery. He I'm, has a lot of options to before that point. I'm willing to put him below the pits. I think so, to be honest. Okay. I think his weaknesses are so it's like it's like so bad for him. Okay. He's so much of a better character if he had like any other upbeat. I'm thinking Ike should probably be a little down here as well. Maybe yeah, right I above so. Wii Fit. I think after the Nair nerf, he's kind of, they he, he gutted him. Mm -hmm. He can't do too much. Well, he, not he, gutted he's necessarily. He's still got a lot of his good combos, but. He's got good stuff, but it's like, you gotta, you gotta work for yourself. Yeah. Right? You can't just mm -hmm. fish for Nair the entire time. Um, What else am I thinking? I'm thinking Inkling probably just, probably barely above Sheik in my opinion. I think. I think yeah. I think yeah. She's better than Sheik in the sheer fact that she has the consistent kill confirm of out throw up air, even if it's like kind of tight on some characters. Mm -hmm. I watch Colorado Eight all the time at like regionals and whatnot, so I'm I'm kind of a believer. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like Corin and Sora should be. I'm, I'm feeling like Hero is actually good right there. To be honest, I think Hero is good right about there. I think he's just kind of. I want to say Corrin and then Sora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that poor little as Mac. As far as like their move set goes, I think Corrin's glaring weakness is like uh, very little mobility in the air mm -hmm. on the ground. And then Heroes kind of got the same like lack of mobility, but he can make up for it with like uh, on flat ability. stages. Little Mac is unstoppable. Tell that to Min Min. Just, like right above Corrin for me. Here we go. Um. 
<clears throat> I'm thinking, you know what? I'm actually feeling Falcon below, like, maybe Sora. Sora? What are your thoughts on that one? My thoughts on Sora? I think Sora is pretty good, but you gotta be really dedicated to the character. Like, I think, I think Sora has more proven results than Falcon does. Yeah, that's fair. I think Falcon is probably better than Corrin, but it's not. It's very close, in my opinion. Yeah. <clears throat> like, these fair. three are, like, depending on the day, I could interchange them, you know? Yeah, I think they're just kind of in that area. And then, I don't know, I'm feeling, like, Greninja... Then Luigi, uh, then Olimar, and then f this. I'm feeling this order. What do you think about this? I think, I think Mega Man's. A, I think Mega Man's above Falco as far as the like move set goes. Because I think Falco is just a little bit lacking mobility. Mega Man can has a little bit more. He can make up for it with like uh, zoning that kind of stuff. I don't know. I could see Falco and Mega Man probably being bottom of A. To be honest with you. Yeah, honestly, I'm a Mega Man believer. I think he can do. I can. I think he can do work if you put in the time with him. I I, I still think Falco. I feel like Falco is more relevant. Um, I I don't know. I feel like Falco's strengths are a lot stronger in the current meta. That's true. It's Falco's a lot easier to brute force your game plan than Mega Man. I think. Mm -hmm. I I want to put Mega Man below Falco. Yeah. I think for I think I think Greninja's kind of in that area as well, to be honest. Greninja, you think we should raise him? I think Greninja's mobility, like, and is single-handedly like making him a really good character. Do we want to put him I like think, right here? I think so. He's better than he's like better than Sheik as far as like uh, just being able to function in tournament that kind of stuff. But I think not being able to shield, no, not really being able to use any defensive options, and just having to like evade instead of being able to like out of shield people is like so detrimental to him i don't know this is just me oh we forgot about duck hunt oh duck hunt uh right here uh right here above the pits okay you know that's fine that's fine uh i i don't know you can you can talk to me more about this if you want i feel like Mega Man could be more here like realistically bottom of a and top of b isn't too different but, like, I'm thinking about it in my mind, and it just doesn't feel right. Because, like, I'm thinking about the characters that we're about to put in A. We're about to put, like, characters like Min Min and Mario and Lucina. Like, I don't know if Mega Man really is on that same level. You know? Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Why is DK that high? No way DK is better yeah. than Rosa. Yeah, DK fine. is, like, the second best heavy low-key. Oh, I, I think we forgot I'm sorry, Brammer. We forgot Bowser, too. And Bowser. Which one? Which one did you say we forget? We forgot about uh, like Ryu Ken. I was gonna put Ryu Ken bottom of A. I think I think Ken's like B tier. Ryu's like A. I I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I will put Ken top of B. Ryu like I think I should. I think I want to put Ryu like. Yeah, I'll put Ryu at the bottom. I think Ryu's better than Ken, like, consistency-wise. Because mm -hmm. Ken's just got, like, some weird multi hit stuff that people just kind of keep falling out of. And then Bowser, I want to put above Ryu, below Falco. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about who we want to put. Some characters I think should be in A, or at least in the conversation. Like I was saying, we, sh we should put Mario here. I think Mario's, like, I think Mario's, like, top. Top? Just kind of like I think he can brute force mm -hmm. his game plan against a lot of the top tiers, even though he's like mm -hmm. losing some of the time. Um, Lucina should be here. I I'm gonna do the same thing we did with B tier, where I kind of just chuck characters in here and we'll discuss order. Yeah. Um, Re Lucina should be up here too. I think Game and Watch should be up here. Right. I'm not. I don't think Game and Watch is S tier, and I think Min Min should be here as well. I, I could I could argue for Min Min being high A though. Um And then I think I'm thinking some other characters. I think Sephiroth could be up here. I'm thinking Shulk could be up here. And I think the Samuses should be up here. Yeah. 
Um, oh, this is interesting. Ness is probably in this tier too. Okay, okay. And I'm thinking. I don't know, cause like there's a lot of characters. Yoshi and Young Link too. Oh yeah. 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 Like, probably like Zero Bayo's, Suit. Like barely in there. Oh Bayo, I forgot about Bayo. I want to put Bayo bottom of A. Okay. Um. Diddy probably too is up here. Yeah. So is Byleth. Yeah, well, it's just kind of. Um. Area. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm thinking. I'm thinking Kazuya could be like top of A, but I think he's better at probably bottom of S. I think he's like bottom of S. Yeah, I won't put Wario in this tier. Alright. Um, I could argue for Pac-Man being here. I think Cloud is definitely a safer bet though. Yeah. And I think that might be good for this tier. I'm checking it again. Yeah, um, that's about all we need. Which one? I think, I think that's basically good. I like that. I like that. I could see every other character making a K. We'll we'll talk about it more when we get to S tier. We could have some characters that are over here probably be moved down to this tier yeah. when we talk about it more. Um, like Palutena and the Peach Daisy. I think we should talk about those. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Bayonetta, Ryu, Bowser, Falco. I'm feeling really good about that order for our bottom yeah, I think, four. I think all those four just kind of in the bottom. Um, after that, I'm feeling Ness. I think Ness, yeah. Cause yeah. He gets walled out so much by the sword. Guess what, Rister? What's so up? What's up, OG chair, dude? Here. Rister, I'm coming for you because of Ryu. I see. Shulk top. I'm feeling ZSS after that. Yeah. yeah. And then Yoshi. I think that's fair. And then I can I see, like, Young Link and then Diddy. Sephiroth, Sephiroth should be a little lower too. Yeah, Sephiroth could be. I want to put Sephiroth above Yoshi, but below Young Link. Okay. Yeah, he suffers so much. He does. Oh I played god. this character for a while, and oh my god, it was terrible. <laughs> one wing is so good. But it's it, yeah. One, one wing is the reason why he's up here and not like bo top of B. You know. <laughs> yeah, but then he barely. Then he dies out the time before he can even. I know. One wing, so it's, it's rough. Uh... I want to put Byleth. I think Byleth should actually be below Diddy. I think so. I think so. And then Cloud, yeah, that looks like good. It. Wario should probably be below Cloud, though. Maybe yeah, below Diddy, too. Sometimes. Oh. Maybe Wario below Diddy. What do you think? I think so. I think Wario Yank is in so front of Byleth. From, like, you really think yeah. so? I'm not I sure about that. He can just kind of do whatever he wants movement wise. I thought Lucas was the better one. No, Ness is, Ness is better. Um, someone in chat said that Yink should be better than Byleth. I disagree, but what do you think about that? Young Link? I think Young Link kind of struggles a lot in the, uh, like, the getting KOs out of, like, a department. Like, they can struggle a lot if they don't get those confirms. Like, if they don't get that, like, 100 to, like, 120% confirmed, the other person can live to, like, 200. Like, they leave the stream. Sometimes. And it gives the mm -hmm. opponent a lot of room to reverse them. Someone's complained that we put Byleth in A. I think Byleth has such a simple game plan that they can really push on you. You know? I think so. I think I think I think a lot of Byleth is just Leo, but there's also other Byleths working. There are games. other Byleths, and Byleth is a pretty simple character as far as their game plan. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Byleth is that especially good. They're just like very solid. After this, I'm thinking like above Cloud. You know what? Do you want to put Shulk? Where do you want to put Shulk? I think Shulk's like of like right above or below Cloud because I think Monado is broken, but his moves in a vacuum are all like extremely mediocre. Yeah, like yeah, he doesn't have a single aerial with a single number startup, right? Yeah. Um, here's the thing: I'm gonna put him below Cloud. I kind of want to put him below Diddy too. Honestly, yeah. As far as like the characters themselves work, I think he's just kind of in that like chic area where it's so hard to actually make him work that it's like barely viable. Mhm. Mm like the thing about Diddy and and the thing about Cloud too, which is why I think Cloud is better than Shulk. Cloud is such a great advantage state. He just strings together aerials like crazy. And it's he's so safe with all of them. His forward mm -hmm. air, his back air, his down air, his like F tilt, almost everything is just hard to contest. 
like I'm yeah just throwing it out and here's the crazy part i actually think the rest of a tier is ordered pretty well i think so i am okay I with that that's about right i think i could leave over there i think i kind of want to put lucina over mario i think so I think she's like that. She's like that violent kind of character where mm -hmm. she's simple, but everything just works. She just has so many good moves. Everything just kind of mm -hmm. flows together well. But she's also got that like movement over Bio. Yeah. I don't know, cause like work I could see, like chat, call me a non-believer of my own character, right? I could see Game and Watch being below Diddy too, though. Game and Watch below Diddy. Like, he's, I think he's really, I think he's still really good. He's I think Game & Watch is good, good, but he's less well-rounded than a character like Cloud. That's true, that's true. Like, oh, like I don't know, he really succeeds in what he succeeds in, but he's got glaring issues that a character like Cloud doesn't have. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with putting him, like, right below Cloud. I'll, I'll, I'll leave him above Diddy, but I want to put him below Cloud. Yeah, I think Samus is... I, I think, think Samus, Samus is, is better than nice. Cloud. And I think the rest of this is good. Okay, okay. Might as well just start throwing everybody else in S tier now. Mm-hmm. Well, hold on. Because this is this is the exciting portion where we get to count down our top five, right? Um oh, so right. We so here's the thing. This S tier is probably gonna be longer on our tier list than a lot of other people's S tiers. Mm -hmm. Um I think there are a good amount of characters you can consider S tier. Here's the thing. Bottom of S, I want to put Terry and Palutena there for sure. And maybe we could have a discussion about maybe putting them in A. Because mm -hmm. I don't think both... Like, these two characters are really good fundamentally. I could see Terry being below Mario, though. That's... Uh, yeah, I can kind of see that. Because as far as, like, FGC characters go, he's just always... They always have that, like, uh, weakness when it comes to not being in somebody's face but mario has so many tools to just uh get in mm -hmm. i'm i don't know i'm feeling because then there's palutena as well i think palutena is more well-rounded i think than... palutena is a super well-rounded character mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i i'm gonna lower terry down to a i'm gonna okay, put him above min min just bottom of a yes or top of a yeah sense. i think uh, Peach is probably like the very bottom of uh, top tier. Very, like very bottom. Really I agree with that. With like frame data float, but she also just gets zoned out really hard. Yeah, I'm okay with Peach and Daisy bottom of S. Yeah. I think Kazuya should be above Alu, but that's as high as he goes. I think so. I think. Oh my god, he's Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima, baby. I don't know. Um. I don't know Kazuya. I'm feeling snake, because here's the thing about snake, right? I'm a, l I'm a little bit of a snake believer. Okay. Um. Ooh, so, okay. I want to put snake below Kazuya. And then I want to put me brawler below snake. Me brawler below, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe Honestly, even below Palu? I think I might put him below Palu. I think Palu's just like, yeah. more well-rounded overall compared to like the setups that mm -hmm. brawler has because he kind of has to lean into like defense or offense on like any mm -hmm. like uh special move setup he has so he's just kind of lacking slightly in one of those but Pelly just always has those mm -hmm. i'm feeling here's what i'm thinking right because the more i look at this the more characters i want to put under kazuya um but I think that might be it for characters I put under Kazuya. I think Fox is next, probably. I think so. Fox is so... His advantage state is so good. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I remember when I put top Fox as, like, top five in my last tier list, and chat called me crazy. They called you crazy. They called me crazy. They called me a madman. I'm thinking wow. next, though. I'm, I'm thinking, like, Pikachu. Cause really? I'm not I'm not as big as a Pikachu believer as a lot of other people are. You're not a Pikachu believer. I'm not a Pikachu believer. I'm sorry. I think I think Pikachu is top five minimum. To be really? Honest. I think I think he's just that good. He's so okay. I think he's kind of held back by his players. None of them <laughs> <are> like... <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying he'd be higher on the tier list if Esam had hair, but I'm saying. <laughs> but, but I'm not not saying that. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm not not saying that either, you know. I think I think he's just so good in a vacuum and none of I'll, I'll put him a little like, bit higher than that. Able to just like utilize that fully. I want to do Wolf next. I think having Wolf and Fox next to each other is pretty good. I think so. I think Wolf's a little bit better than Fox, just overall. Me too. He's more well-rounded. Yeah. He's yeah. Got that, he's got those sorty attributes. And then I kind of want to put Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. He's got such good normals, and his specials are also really good. He can recover from basically everything. He's got a bunch of hydrant, just like random cheese stuff. Ooh. What are your thoughts on Roy? Roy? Uh, mm -hmm. Roy, and like, then we need to talk about we need to talk about PT as well. Because I think... I'm feeling PT like below Wolf. I think so. I think PT mm -hmm. has a problem with not being able to access all of their strengths at the same time, mm -hmm. but it's to much more of an extent than like Aegis, because it's like uh, mm -hmm. Aegis they kind of have like the same move set. They can do almost the exact same thing. Just with, like, this is stuff. agony," said R Zero. "Someone help me, Rister Tearless, right?" Character and they're entirely different strengths. I'll so do the stretch so later. To like be able to access that, especially when you have to go in the specific order for them. So I think that just holds them back a little bit. Mhm. Mm I agree with that. So let's let's see what characters do we have left. We have Steve, we have Sonic, we have Roy, we have Aegis, Pikachu, Joker, and that's it. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're at top Rob seven right now. Then. You think Roy is next? I think Rob goes next. Rob. I would put Rob above Roy. Rob above Roy? Mm-hmm. I feel like Rob just has, m like, I feel like Rob is well-rounded, but he exceeds in every single aspect of that circle, you know? That's true. I feel like... What I'm thinking yeah, about, regular tier list. I think about like uh, just like how how much he gets like advantage stated sometimes. But then I remember just how explosive his advantage state is. I think yeah, he also has that Pikachu problem where his player base for some reason just isn't utilizing everything he has because he could like honestly just kill you off of a straight hit like nine out of ten times. But nobody's doing <laughs> it because nobody just nobody wants to lab him. I guess yeah, it... nothing was doing it. Mm -hmm. It's like, cause here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Roy, then Rob, then Pika for me. Ooh, okay, I'm fine as long as Pika's in like the bottom of top five at least. <laughs> okay, so there did there was just an ad break activated. So before we rank any other characters, okay, yeah, we've got we've got Steve, Sonic, Aegis, Joker. As far as like that's that's our so our top five has Pikachu in the bottom. Ice cream truck outside. The house. Oh my god! It's, it's an ice cream truck it's outside. Ice cream truck jingle. <laughs> so okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. I think Steve. <laughs> I think Steve goes next. Uh huh. So so we've got we've got so let's just put these up there right now and then we'll discuss ordering later, right? Let's just put these up there. We'll discuss ordering after that. So I'm just I just want to make sure we didn't forget any characters. I'm like looking at this character pool, thinking like, wait, is it wait who did I not pick? Oh, Sonic, right? So wait, so, okay, reskin, 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 reskin. Okay, we didn't forget any characters. The last time I did a tier list, I forgot Bowser Jr. We didn't forget any characters. I'm just. uh... I'm just like like putting all the characters up there and then looking at what we have left just to make sure we didn't forget any. Because the last time I did a tier list, I forgot Bowser Jr. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think, I think that's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's everyone. So this is everyone. This is this looks like... You think Steve is next. Tell me about that. I think Steve is like... he. Okay, he's really good, obviously. He's like, he's like really... He's like really good, but... He's also like uh, struggling in that same department of like if he's getting zoned out, he just cannot function. Of course, there's like camping and mm -hmm. stuff, but I think a lot of the top five has so many ways, like so many ways to deal with them. Like, you like I you, think, you think, I think Steve? Be, like basically every single character, given the right circumstance. Mm -hmm. But if you could just like exploit his weakness, and if you can just like exploit his weakness, I think you just can win. You think Steve is susceptible to camping? 
I think you, uh, I think he's susceptible to camping from the right characters, and from the mm -hmm. right characters, I usually mean like the rest of the top five. Mm -hmm. Here's here's the thing. I would put Joker next. Joker, actually. I feel like Steve yeah, is better than Joker. Okay. Because uh, I'm thinking about it, and I'm just like, here's the thing. MKLeo traumatized everyone so bad that like you'll never see a tier list without Joker anywhere within like the top ten at least, right? That's um. Nice. It's just like, I don't know. I'm just not seeing him. I'm not saying this is like a results based tier list. It's not. But like, it's just, he's not as meta relevant and he struggles. I feel like, I feel like Joker would kind of struggle a little bit in the meta right now. I think so. Like we, like we talk about like a dominating Joker performance. I feel like Joker would probably struggle like from the top eight of like main stage. Yeah, I feel like Joker would have struggled there. Yeah, I think Joker struggles from the same problem that like Shulk and Sheik have, where it's like they're really good in a vacuum, but then you're do you if you're in tournament it, you can struggle so much to just hit the things you need to, or like just play perfectly, because mm -hmm. it's like bar to play perfectly is so much higher than like a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, I yeah. agree. And now we get to the top three. Right? I don't I don't think so. Like, it's the best character in the game. I actually... This is how I would order it, personally. Okay. Talk to me about Sonic. Why do you think Sonic isn't the best? Sonic? I don't... I, uh... Because here's the thing. A lot of Sonics on Twitter lately, I've seen this the past few weeks. Uh, Pelly was the one who started it, right? And all of a sudden, there have been propaganda from Sonic mains trying to convince you that their character is not as good as you think... But I don't buy into it at all, to be honest. I think, I think Sonic struggles a lot from his normals because really? he's very his move set is very limited. It's mostly just special moves, aerials. Uh, his tilts are all basically like next to useless. His up tilt is like kind of use you can you can kind of use the up tilt. His mm -hmm. up tilt's just not good. His down tilt's not good. His down smash is basically never used. S smash is stupid good. His, but his up smash is just like it's okay. I could shield poke. I think that's basically like the only good thing about it. His nair is good. Mm -hmm. His back air. I don't know. I don't know if his back air is good or people are just really good at placing it. Yeah. Here's here's the thing about Sonic for me. I feel like Sonic wins every matchup in the game, or at least goes even with at least every. I don't think he has a losing matchup. Um. Oh, there. I feel about that. Like. I don't know. There's there's some that are pretty close, but like I, I feel like it can be negated. Um, here's my thing about this, right? Something I wanted to emphasize a little bit to chat and just like in general, there is not that much difference, like in between top five, yeah, at this most point. Of these characters can compete with each other. Like if we're if we're talking about like the difference between Aegis to Steve or Steve to Sonic or joker to aegis there is not a lot of difference in the because i feel like a lot of people are going to look at this tier list and their first thought is sonic is the best character in the game which we're currently debating that right um but like i don't think it's oh sonic is it's not sonic is far and away the best it's whatever character lands at the top of this tier list is going to just barely edge out his competition yeah if that makes sense. So you think Steve should be after Joker, though? I think so. I'm okay with putting uh, Steve there. So the, our, so really what we're the discussing right now is Sonic or Aegis as best? For me, uh, overall, I think I think Aegis is better, but Sonic can, Sonic can definitely like compete. I think for Aegis, for me, it's so... She's so accessible. It's like it's so easy to just pick her up, like just figure out how she worked, and then play her at top level. And I think Sonic lacks that like accessibility, like the ease of use, and the fact that the like skill floor for Aegis is so low allows for like so much creativity, just being able to do whatever you want, playing like free flowing. And I think that I just works that. so much better for uh, Aegis than Sonic. Because Sonic is a little bit more uh, like not as I guess he's not as streamlined. As when you're like learning him because you just kind of have to play like a specific way whereas Aegis you can just kind of play however you want with both characters mm -hmm. here's here's what I'm thinking right 
Here's why I think Sonic should be above Aegis. Um, Aegis requires a lot of precision with her play. You can kind of mash a little bit, but with Sonic, I feel like camping with him is more forgiving than Aegis mashing is forgiving. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of bad Aegises, myself included, who just kind of swing around <laughs> and it like it feels like they're a million miles off their opponent. Aegis is a character that requires precision. You know, mm. when you look at an Aegis combo, it is they hit that into that into that, and it looks really easy, but it's like it requires like the pinpoint. Like if your finger slips on the control stick a little bit, you're not hitting that combo. Yeah. Sonic is more of a you hit that side B, you're gonna hit the fair out of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the homing attack automatically aims for you. And there's, I mean, I, it feels like the precision that you need with Aegis. Like, if you miss the ledge with Mithra side B by like two centimeters, you're falling to your death. You know? That's true. I feel like Aegis is, like, Aegis is really easy to pick up, but. I feel like Aegis is very difficult to, like, compete at a top level. I feel like Sonic is hard, too. Mm. I'm not saying Sonic is easy baby character. I'm just saying that, like, Sonic's stuff that he has is more guaranteed, in yeah. my opinion. I think I think I kind of understand. Well, I do, I do understand where you're coming from, but I think the way that a lot of his stuff is guaranteed makes it so much easier to, like, understand how a Sonic is playing, and for an Aegis player, you can play more predictably, but like, the way that they function allows you to counterpick somebody's playstyle like, uh, way better than Sonic can, because he's kind of mm -hmm. stuck to his own, uh, playstyle for a lot of the part. And, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, I think, I think that's about all I got. I played both of these characters. I personally found Sonic harder. Um, if that, that might even be an argument towards Aegis top one instead, but I did find Sonic to be more difficult, but the thing is with Aegis, I feel like people swing and miss a lot more often than they would do with Sonic. Yeah. I don't know. What do you, I'm, cause I'm like, cause here's the thing. I would be fine with this going either way. Mm. What are you, what are your thoughts on like, I don't know. Tell me what you're thinking a little bit right now. Right now, to be honest, I think this could go back and forth for a long time because both of these characters have so many good strengths and weaknesses. So at this point, I wouldn't even mind like a coin flip or something like that. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm I'm I think I'm gonna put Aegis as top one. Okay. Cause I think at the end of the day, what it is is that a lot of Aegis's faults can boil down to human error. Yeah. I think Sonic, I think both of these characters have some flaws, right? Yeah, for sure. But I think Aegis's flaws are more of she's difficult to handle at a top level, and Sonic's flaws are less about how you play him and more about the character itself. Yeah. So I'm okay with this. Okay. I think this is, I think this is about good. I think this is good. Let's look over this one more time. Okay. And just see if we want to swap around any characters before this goes live on the Rat Global Twitter, right? True. I want to see. I want to see if chat has any. Chat. Opinions. Chat has been molding this entire time. I'm <laughs> just. <very glad. laughs> I just want to let you know. I'm. I'm happy. I haven't been reading out chat this whole time, cause they have been. They've. They're. They're upset. <laughs> okay. That's to be expected. If, if it's like a matchup chart, tier list, anything where you're like ranking characters against each other, it's mm. going to end badly for anybody that doesn't have your opinion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Even like, uh, I don't think there's any winning, but I do want to at least listen to what they have to say because I think mm -hmm. a lot of them do have better perspectives on some characters than <laughs> I do because obviously yeah. we all have our limited like view of the game through our own characters. Yeah, like, Joel is the one who's been saying Byleth in front of Young Link is stupid, but he mains Young Link. Okay. You know what I'm saying? There's there's, there's a level of... Everyone has a little bit of bias in them, whether they want to admit it or not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, this, but I'm looking over this list right now. E-tier, Ganon, Plant, Mac, Gunner. Do yeah. we want to put Mac above Gunner? Yeah. I think, I think Mac can just do a little bit better. 
Okay. D. DDD, Me Sword Fighter, Lucario, Doc, Isabel, Banjo. Well, My biggest concern right here is Doc. What do we think? Yeah. What do you think? Do we think we raise Doc? Uh, I think we raise Doc. I w I'm willing to put Doc like right. I'm th I'm willing to put him at the top or below Banjo. Yeah, I think so. I think Doc's got that frame in, like like a uh, frame data advantage over uh, Banjo. Mhm. Mm Let's put. I'll put. I'll do that then. Uh, C tier. Zelda. Layla in my chat has been demanding a Zelda increase. This no. entire time. <laughs> I, I feel like Zelda's pretty fair on this list right now, to be honest. Because I'm looking at all these characters. I can't justify them being above Zelda in my mind. I know you I love Zelda's Zelda, character. I know. Uh, I, I think Zelda, as far as her kind of character goes, setup characters are just not that good. Mm -hmm. And I, think I agree. She's so, she's so exploitable with all the experiences I've had playing against Zelda. There's so much that can go wrong. You can fall out of mm -hmm. Nair. Like, Fair doesn't... Uh, sweet spot. Her mm -hmm. side B is kind of not that good at all unless you get... Uh, uh, oh, poor Layla. Somebody's, like, recovery. I think her neutral B is kind of overrated because I just don't see it that much in play offline. <sighs> I think her up B... <laughs> Online, though. <laughs> okay. Online. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> Online's a different story. <laughs> Uh, so we got we got Zelda, Marth, K. Rool, Villager, Robin, Ices, Belmont, Kirby, Toon Link, Incineroar, Ridley, Bay, J, and Rosalina. I'm I'm liking that. I think I honestly I think Rosa could go a little bit higher. You think so? You think Rosa could be like above Lucas? I think so because I think she can. Just I I understand that. I, I like that. Like every character below her. I like that. Uh, so here we go. B tier. We got Pichu, Lucas, Rosa, DK, Puff, Meta Knight, Link, Mewtwo, Chrom, Pits, Duck Hunt, We Fit, Ike, Sheik, Inkling, Hero, Corrin, Falcon, Sora, Luigi, uh, Olimar, Greninja, Mega Man, Ken. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of seeing a pattern with B tier. Uh -huh. it's all characters that are like they're really good in a vacuum when you're thinking about them. Really, but they just don't work that well in play. Cause yeah, because kind of character. yeah, because it's so many characters where people are just falling out of things, or they're like struggling to get kills, or they're getting edge guarded. It's just those kinds of characters. The thing about B tier, you want to know what I've no I've noticed low key about B tier. B tier has a lot of these characters are kind of good on paper, but they're meta irrelevant. Yeah, I think that for a lot of them, because you can see if you just look at the top five right now, and you're just comparing them to these characters, it's all just characters that get stuffed out by the top level. I agree. I agree. Anyone we want to switch around right now? I'm thinking Link might be able to go lower. I think Link. I think he go. I think he go like a little bit above Chrome. Really? You think like, you're a Link believer? I'm a Link believer. I think I'm a Link hater. He has a little bit more that works than Chrome mm. because Chrome, <laughs> Chrome's got that recovery. If so. if we disagree on it, let's keep him where he is. Cause you want him higher, I want him lower. Let's keep him. Okay. Um, Duck Hunt, I think is fine. Okay, I think Olimar is a little bit underrated. You think yes. so? Do you want to put Olimar or like below Ken? I think so. I All right, you, I'm okay with that. Better than like, I think Luigi might be a little bit overrated, but I'm also fine with keeping him where he is. Mm, I actually do kind of want to put Luigi right here. Okay. Because especially think... since he won that European major. That's true, that's true. I that's feel like I feel like a lot of our Luigi play I feel like Luigi hasn't reached potential yet. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Link should def go up the fuck. I mean I I'm a Link hater. I'm sorry. I don't think he's that good at all. Um Yeah, yeah, I don't I, yeah, chat thinks Link might want to go up. I disagree though. Cause here's the thing with Link for me. There's no point. You know? There's like I just don't see any reason you would ever play him over Young Link. Um, I want to see what the chat has to think about that one. I do want to see what the chat thinks about that. I think Link is kind of a worthless character in this game. Um, other than the fact if you want to just appear to be a big brain. Yeah, when it's like an in-between you know, Young Link and Toon Link, but he's still not that good. <laughs> I honestly, like, 
I, I don't know. I think Link is kind of just like, he's fallen off so hard. He's the character that fell off the most from Ultimate's True. beginning to now. He fell off the absolute most. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wish he was good. I love Breath of the Wild, but like, it's just, I'm thinking about it and the, the detonation bomb setups. It's like you were talking about Zelda. Setup characters are just not that good in this game. Yeah, they're and not Link, that well. the only thing Link has above the other Links. The only thing Link has unique is the fact that he's a setup character with the bomb. Yeah. Other, if you don't kind of use those setups, <laughs> if you don't use those setups, you're basically just playing worse young Link. Yeah. Because like what? Like up B out of shield, side B into fair. You're just playing young Link, but without the fire arrow, you know? That's true. Like, I'm just, just, yeah. Has so many more options. Mm -hmm. Everything. I agree. He's got less lag, much less. Uh, Young Link does. Young Link has way less lag. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I, I, I think I think Link should stay where he is. That's fair. I think A tier. Uh, <laughs> we got I Bayonetta, think. Ryu, Bowser. I looked at Falco and almost said Tilde. Uh, Falco, <laughs> Ness. I almost said Mars. Okay. ZSS. Oh <laughs> Yoshi, Sephiroth. Uh, Oh, that one didn't even make sense. A uh, young link, Byleth. I, I was, I said that because I looked at young link and thought tweak, and I was like, wait a minute, that one doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Byleth, Wario, Shulk, Diddy, Game and Watch, Cloud, the Samuses, Min Min, Terry, Mario, Lucina. Okay. I'm think thinking. It's kind of good. I think Wario goes above Shulk. Just yeah, I'm feeling that. I can feel that. Yeah. So I think it's easier to make him work. Because Shulk, mm -hmm. obviously, when he works, he works. But Wario's way easier to get to that point where he mm -hmm. can just, uh, like, do things. I, um... I, I'm i honestly down to move Terry down if you want to. I'd probably move him down. Where are you thinking? I'm thinking, like, below Game and Wall. Maybe below, like... You want to go just right above Shulk? Right above Shulk? Yeah, I think that works. Because I'm looking at every character that's above him. Yeah, all you I know. I think of is every character here that's above him just beats him. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, Terry's not that good. He's, 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 he's just lacking. He's yeah. lacking so much range. Like, the other thing. Have that like Kazuya thing where you can just kind of go through everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other thing chat just brought up, uh, and I kind of agree with it. Do we raise Cloud to be above the Samuses or above Min Min? What do you think? I think it goes above Samus's, but probably not Min Min. I'm okay with that. Min Min is so polarizing. She can just, like, delete characters. Min Min right. nullifies, like, half the cast. Yeah. If you're, like, below B tier, you just don't win against Min Min. That's, no that's, 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 <laughs> that's why she's a great secondary, you know? Yeah. I think Mario, Lucina, they're, yeah, they're just solid characters. Yeah. I like that. I like this. Yeah. And then S tier, we've got Daisy, Peach, <laughs> Me Brawler, Palu, Snake, Kazuya, Fox, PT, Wolf, K not T, Pac-Man, Roy, Rob, Pika, Joker, Steve, Sonic, Pyra. I think our top five is solid. I, I would say our top seven is solid, right? Yeah. Um... I think between like Wolf, Fox, and PT, they're all kind of inter like interchangeable. Yeah, these three are pretty close. I would Wait. say, what do we think about Pac-Man? Do you think he's fine right there? I'm a, I'm a believer. I think he's just so solid in like every single like aspect of gameplay. He can just kind of do everything. I'm okay with putting Pac-Man above Roy. I don't know about above Roy. I think Roy's mm -hmm. got that cheese factor. It yeah. Can just kill you. Yeah. I think Pac Man's mm. slightly in killing if he doesn't mm. kill like Bell. Listen, I'm just saying, if I was making this tier list with Big Dog Hunt fan, Pac Man would not be up here at all. <laughs> where does he. Wait, where did. Where you don't know? Duck Big Hunt Duck Hunt fan rank? thinks Pac Man is the second worst character in the game. What? <laughs> he does! He <laughs> does! <laughs> no, that's that? genuine. He went on Twitter and he was like. I challenge any Pac-Man to prove me wrong. And to be fair, I don't think he has been proven wrong yet. So what? he's I don't I don't think I'm not sure he's lost against any Pac-Man before. He was I think what he said was like I think what he said was just like you can catch every single one of his projectiles while he's throwing them. He's bad. 
No. Oh no. Oh. It was crazy. You think this is worse than like Lucario on the DVD? Mm. That's one of the most infamous like Smash Twitter tier list opinions, I think. That's insane. Um Yeah, so okay. I'm okay with the rest of this. I'm I'm pretty solid with the rest of this. I think people might think people might think we're rating Kazuya too low, but honestly, I put him I, I put Palu above Kazuya. Really? I think so. I think she's she's mm. just that solid. I think she she's like in the Wolf PT Fox area where they're just so good all rounded characters. I think she just kind of mm. fits in there. I think Palutena could suffer a little bit with range in the air. I think so. Mm. I'm okay with keeping Palutena there though. If you are. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. I was thinking because like people people always make the Kazuya's overpowered. Like, I could see Kazuya being below Pac Man. Yeah. Do we but do I'm we want to like, put him there? I'm looking at overall consistency. I don't. I just don't think it lines up because I think he his, he does have those like really big weaknesses. Bad matchups. Yeah. Um, I. I'm thinking we keep him there. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, so this is our final tier list. Oh, I can't. I can't wait to see. This is gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna upload good. this on the Rat Global Twitter account. I cannot. And we're gonna get torn up. <laughs> we're not going to see the. We're not going to see daylight. Uh, but honestly, as far as tier lists go, I think this is pretty solid. I think. It, I think it just. It's just like average tier list. I, I don't think, think there's. Explosive, yeah. Like weirdo takes in here yeah i was looking at this and i'm like there's nothing here i would consider controversial there's some things you could nitpick but there's nothing here that's like pac-man and a e tier you know no, i think there's a bunch of things where somebody could come in and argue i think this character should be like a tier up like yeah a couple spots up and we would be like mm -hmm. yeah that's fair i don't think there's like, like i mm -hmm. think this character is like five tiers off <laughs> yeah nothing like that here the thing about it is that like at the end of the day, a lot of people, because like the, there was one arguing that like Joel's been arguing the entire time, Young Link above Byleth or whatever. But at the end of the day, especially in the between the tiers, there is not that much difference. Like mm. Aegis is not like way better than say Roy. Yeah, the, 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 we're talking the difference, slight differences like, in the orders the, here. Uh, yeah, the character gap is not like there. It's, they're all really mm -hmm. close to each other. They could all just like. You think Link is controversial? Other, but could overtake young I don't think so. No, I'm going to right. overtake by let's... In, like any like decent scenario. Yeah, let's save it. We're good. Okay. There it is. Here we go. I'm gonna pictures. Save pictures. Where is it? That was a little bit faster than I thought it would be. I know, right? Oh god, I hope your Switch actually works still. Right! Dude, we boot up the Switch, I get an error code for the arena. Uh, time to make a matchup chart! <laughs> Literally. That's what would happen. Alright, let me disconnect my stream, like a sc screen share. I forgot that I had you on uh, Push to Talk. Oh, well, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was just sitting here like, yep, he was... He's just stunned into silence by my joke right there. <laughs> it's just like, is he there? <laughs> no, I was thinking like, I just boot up the switch, I get an error code, and I'm like, well, time for matchup charts now. <laughs> oh god, just do every matchup chart. <laughs> right, yeah. For every character in the game, it'll only take us an hour. It'll only take us an hour. Alright, let's hop in, let's try to boot up an arena. Uh, I'll try to make one because if I can't make one, I won't be able to join one. Okay. Uh, let me just edit the title real quick of the stream because there will no longer be a tier list later on. We just did the tier list later on. All right. <clears throat> Robin, wait, why is Rob so high? <laughs> oh boy. Someone. All right. All right. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Rob so high, boys? Questions that are pervasive. Come on, limes. Limes! Boy! Get into my mouth! That sounded weird. 
Don't take that out of context. All right, let's start this up. Did you change the beans to lime? Well, you are here in the era of beans. And with one sentence, Rister Mice confused every single person in chat. <laughs> you were here for the bean era. Here, let me try to see if I can do it. Some days it's not a good day, but let's see if it's a good day today. Beans, what the fuck? There we go. That's the beans era, chat. It worked! It worked! It worked! Here we go. Time for a grind session, which means that viewers will not be able to join the arena today. I'm here for the limes. The limes! What the hell? Uh, let's go. Let's start Game & Watch. Uh, Rob is big. He has too many losing matchups. The last two streams have been Super Smash Bros. Yes. I stream Smash like half the time. I'm sorry about that. Rat out of contact video when? Oh god, hopefully never. <laughs> because it, like, it'll just be me. <laughs> Gaming Watch is Rob's first matchup. Yep. I know. Um, The thing is, we put Rob high. How I described it was this. I described Rob as a really well-rounded character, but every single edge of that well-rounded circle was really good. He was just good at, he's just good at everything, pretty much. Like, yeah, he's got bad matchups, right? But you could say that for a lot, like Pikachu. Game & Watch is also Pikachu's worst matchup. Would you argue that Pikachu is, you know, not top five or only like barely top 15? You know what I'm saying? Sonic loses to Aegis. Which is also another top five character, but whatever. I missed the ice explanation. We put ICs higher than a lot of people typically would because we were pleased with his recent results. Welcome back. It worked. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'll have to make 80 matchup charts. <laughs> For now. <laughs> oh. That's going to be a long stream. All right. Did you watch Big D yesterday? I did. That's why we I ranked did. your ICs pretty high. For okay, for okay. ICs for ICs level, we ranked him high. <laughs> Yo, I was I was crying when he got knocked out of losers because I knew it was just already over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. I've got I've got the I don't do push to talk very often. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just like I I'm used to voice activity Discord calls. Oh yeah, that's fair. I thought for a grind session where. We're trying to focus, then it wouldn't be the best to uh, just constantly hearing me going. And thank you for the follow, uh, Ball <laughs> Sniffer 15. Welcome into the stream today. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh, might be. I guess we can't really do that much in-game commentary, though. If you want to do voice activity for a few games, we can. All right, let's start us up. Here we go, chat. We're going in on it hard. This is this is our combat. This is our combat experience after making a tier list together. He he's doing this for Link, chat. Link would have been higher on the tier list if not for me. All right. So all you Link apologists out there, you better be rooting for healer. <laughs> Here we go, though. This is good. Die. Nope. Oh, I was trying to get the F-tilt out of that. I get that out of it, though. Oh, and you're dead. Woo! Okay.
I'm not just a co I'm not just a content creator, boys. I can do this. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't I can't remember if healer was a commentator or if he was a player. I probably should have I cause he didn't DM me a thing for the introduction video. I have no idea. Oh I didn't have a jump. Thought I had a jump. Does Jab on Game & Watch have a reverse hitbox? It feels like it does a lot. Like, I know I should be the one labbing that and not asking chat about it, right? But it really does feel like it has a reverse hitbox. You know what I'm saying? It really does. I, I, be I think it might. Because I've hit people with the Jab when they were behind me. Uh, Oh, fuck. I was looking at chat for one s- I look at chat for one second and he busts out down smash. That's why you don't look at chat during grind sessions. Chat! Back air, am I right? Uh oh. Uh, I don't know if I lost my jump. Ah, uh, I lost my jump. Here we go. Gotta be careful. Well, I can definitely say that Neutral B Pan doesn't have a back hitbox. <laughs> definitely. Ooh. Oh, I meant to go to ledge with that. Oh, fuck. Why didn't I down be there? The shield break. I looked at chat for one second and he pulled out down smash. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I need some, I need some cheese desperately. Right. Oh man. Game to watch Nero's Ghost, one of the best Nero's in the game. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah, we could we could go secondaries later on if we wanna have some fun. Alright, alright. I could show you the secret pocket tune link. <laughs> oh my god. Oh kill me. No, chat chat doesn't know I used it I think I used it on stream once. I don't remember. Is there a history? Is there a history I'm missing here? Perhaps. Oh no, I didn't use it. The time I was on a local stream, it was a squad strike bracket, and I, I didn't pull the link out. <laughs> no, okay, okay. I'm gonna go to bed now. Have a nice stream. All right, Migoto. Hope you have a good day, man. Thank you for coming out. It's been a pleasure to have you here. I did stop kind of using Nair last stock. That's kind of one of the things I knew I was doing worse at. <laughs> yeah, you're coming with me. <laughs> that was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You, I betrayed his kindness. Oh my gosh, chat. It's just like Outlaster, huh? Yeah, he's oppressing me with fair. Hmm. I'm not jumping high enough for that. I wanted the dash attack. Holy crap. It's tense. This is tense.
Here we go. Okay. <laughs> we have an open arena later? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, it depends on what we do. Depends on how, if he has to go or not. Oh. Had to be quick with it. Yeah. His fair outrange my F tilt, unfortunately, for me. I don't know what I'm doing with that up smash. That was never going to hit him in a million years. No, I'm I'm being I'm being too silly with it. I'm being too silly. I'm being too silly. Oh my god. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, it is. Dude. <laughs> I was just, just I started getting hit. I started getting hit and I'm like, "No, I'm being too silly with it. I need to stop." <laughs> I'm gonna turn voice activity on. All right, all right. I'm gonna switch. I need to switch to my main. <laughs> my was not doing me oh, you haven't been playing your main this whole time. Uh oh, that's my the most classic of plot twists. That's my, <laughs> that's my plot twist. In fact, I'm switching to Marth. My no wonder you placed him so high. <laughs> I need. <laughs> hey, I'm a Marth apologist. I know. I was literally, I was talking to chat, I was like, this is his chance to get revenge for all the Link lovers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my Marth. The Marth goes shnasty? Does it go shnasty? I don't know anymore. Does it go kind of <laughs> juicy? It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a, let me do a little bit. Oh, and on Smash Bros. This game is too kind to me. He's not kind enough. Maybe I just, <laughs> I'm just bad. Nope. Kind of slick with it. Kind of, kind of juicy with it. Kind of crispy. I'm kind of, I'm kind of pressing some buttons. Kind of pushing him. Kind of pressing. Ow, my oh. fragile 2D bones. <laughs> uh. I think. The one thing about Marth that saved this character for me, his up tilt is absolutely egregious because the tipper always hits platforms. I killed someone. I was playing Marth the other day on like quick play. I killed someone at like 32 from an F smash at ledge. It's so, he just pulls out some cheese sometimes and I need it. I saw you delay that last hit of side B. Oh, thought I might have armored through it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, throw a chair. You know what? I get it. That's why I do with that tilt. Oh, I'm not a fan of my shield state of health right now. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I was just like. More. <laughs> uh. So you're on as a player, right? Not as a commentator? Uh, yeah, I'm just a player. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Ah. <laughs> I didn't think there was a segment in the intro video, so I didn't know. Oh, I Have forgot you. to make one. I saw that. <laughs> I like went to bed. I I thought I saw an announcement. I'm like, it's probably fine. And then I woke up. I was like, oh, oh, I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't necessary. It was more like a, if you want to be in it, you can. Yeah. But you want it. <laughs> I should have. It's fine. It only got like 
90 views. It's, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, now I feel, now I, now I feel bad. <laughs> no. My clot's gone. Yeah, right. It would have gotten many more if you had been there. Love this will be your introduction video. Oh my god, you're the so tier, The tier list, because there's no way to get a first impression than a tier list, right? <laughs> That's the worst first impression <laughs> I can <could> get. <laughs> Never judge a person by their tier list. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed to you. Like, good night, Layla. Good night. Jeff, please. Don't judge me by my tier list. I'm real, I swear. <laughs> The thing is, the the thing with the YouTube is that I there's it, right now it's just like vods getting uploaded these few days because I've just yeah. been getting time to edit and stockpile up videos. I yeah, think tomorrow. I think the day is the last vod for the cheese from the cheese bowl number one, and then actual content is gonna start coming out. Did the switch just crash? Mine is not. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no, it did the thing. It did the thing where it's like, go, and then immediately shuts off. Oh no. Did my switch? Hold on. <laughs> it did exploded. I, I think my switch just exploded. <laughs> Something went wrong. <laughs> oh no. Something went wrong. Uh, huh? It just, it did that thing where it like repeats like a single like frame of like noise mm -hmm. the entire time so it's just like a buzzing sound oh no and now my switch is my switch is having a moment oh no uh uh it's, it's having a time i mean that's probably that's probably good enough for like that's probably good for footage if you want <laughs> matchup chart it is boys i want to play the game <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> you tell me what to do. I'm not sure what your switch is looking like right now. I'm gonna. I don't know what to do in this situation. This has never happened to me. <laughs> Maybe I can just, like. I don't know what to do here. I don't know if it's responding. Uh oh. Maybe I'll just plug it in. Well, chat, this video is brought to you by Rat Global, the premier rat gaming corporation of Smash Ultimate. Broken switches. Rat Global is great, and thank you for bringing uh, us this video. Thank you, Rat Global. Now that our uh, sponsor segment is done, how's your switch looking? My, uh, my switch. I'm pressing the power button. I'm holding the power button. And oh, it turned on. Oh! Something happened. I don't know what. Turned on, Pog. Okay. I don't oh. know. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. It literally just, like, blue screen. I can't wait for the thumbnail for this. Just, like, the, the I can do, like, a Pog face, like, and then in big red letters, his switch exploded. <laughs> My sw his switch exploded! Exclamation <laughs> point! Beat him so bad the switch exploded. Just like, <laughs> it's just, it's just like a dead Marth on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I like Photoshop Marth's head with like X's over the eyes. My Marth won so hard my switch exploded. <laughs> oh man, I gotta make that now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to make it now. You go. Oh. oh, it's done. Okay. Oh. My my smash ultimate loaded. I guess I'm I guess I'm fine now. Man, there are not a lot of situations where I guess I'm fine now is the is a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's working and I'm here. So. Uh... Hello, Mocha Macaron. How are you doing today? Welcome into the stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> My switch just got resurrected. I blew up his switch. Legalized nuclear bombs. Oh, Welcome back. Okay. Here now we go. Oh no. <laughs> Imagine going through all that and you load into the arena and your opponent is Samus. It's just Wi Fi Samus. <laughs> <laughs> I struggled for Wi Fi Samus. That's how I'm feeling today. Listen, I'm bad. It's okay. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Today I'm playing Rushdown with my, sp <laughs> with my spacing character. Ah! 
And it worked. There's no Game & Watch key to save me that time. Thank God. You learned your lesson after the last time you tried to save me. Oh shit, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> My trust is broken. Please. Ow. Oh my gosh, I pressed the tech <laughs> button, it just didn't want to, you know. That's the Wi-Fi classic. Dude, the Game & Watch was looking much better. Yeah, anyway, I'm just not warmed up. Uh-oh. I definitely gotta try the Toon Link too, just because I, I hinted it. I can't I can't just, I just can't I can't just tease it and then not play him. We got lore here. Oh god. Oh. Battlefield oh, is not where I wanna be fighting a Marth who knows what they're doing. I love I love Battlefield. The platform I can is tell. so perfectly like uh placed so that I can just kinda keep pressing things. <laughs> Whoa. We're good. Uh oh. Ready to I die? I think I lose this. Good. Uh, bam. Boppity boopity. Oh, I don't have a jump. Yeah, there we go, boys. Boppity boopity. Oh, I didn't have a job. I know. Oh, you're not gonna come save me. Why not? <laughs> I was trying to. I was. Tr <laughs> I was trying to fast fall down, and then I just teabagged on the ledge on accident. <laughs> Came back home from school and Smash Club. Just tired. Sounds good, Mocha. Hope you can chill out in the arena right now. Uh, I'm gonna. I. I, I gotta try the Toon Link. Let's Are do you it. The Toon Link on me. Yep. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a little bit of Toon Link experience with Marth. <laughs> So what a going. what a niche experience to have. Okay. It's there's like a lot, okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of two links in the PNW. I don't know why. I suppose. They're just always there. It's like don't worry guys, I have experience with getting raccoons through electrical outlets. It's like what? It's true. It's Where did true. you get that? <laughs> you don't you don't have that experience? I'm sorry. I, I've never had to. Oh my god. And on battlefield. Oh no. So I have the most like niche matchup experience, and then I don't know how to fight Palu. I don't have Palu experience. That's why you rated it so niche. high. <laughs> I've never fought. I don't have like Roy experience. That's the same. What? Just go on at least rest for like no two Roy's. minutes. There's no Roy's. They don't exist. We. <laughs> oh, I. Thanks. Oh, my God. You saved me I again. You. I, I thought you, you learned. I got you. It was it was all on purpose. It was all part of the plan. Oh. Through the through the crack. If this I does better been... than Samus, I think I might cry. I think so. <laughs> I think it just might. Uh oh. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's oh. not fine. You know what? Um, oh. save me! <laughs> Again! All by the plan. I need to start pulling bombs when I'm trying to recover. I don't know why I don't. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's like one of the only places that Toon Link can like safely pull bombs. Because I have, when I'm playing against Toon Link, the one thing I'm trying to do is just keep them from pulling bomb. Which, if they're like jumping back, I'm usually just trying to like full hop and hit them for it. That was not side B. I wasn't going for side B. Up B out of shield is my classic Toon Link thing. Probably because I play Game & Watch, it's kind of, you know, can't really get that out of you. Oh, I missed. Bonk. Bonk. The bonk was too distant! <laughs> A I distant bonk. Space. That's so funny because I played Mario for like two years and I barely space. <laughs> John Space, CEO of spacing. That one meant to be a side B, actually. Bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, uh, this is fine. Hiya! Oh. I'll come oh. down. What? That was that would have been perfect. Oh, he fast fell. Nah. We... Oh, I'm fast falling again, but the wrong way, kind. Ah. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you, fall to the daughter. That. Oh, I got it again. Do it again. I didn't tip her. I'm sad. That looked like it should have, though, right? I mean, that was depressing. Dang, <clears throat> dude, the three horsemen of having satisfying hit sounds are Marth, Toon Link, and Ike. Yeah, actually, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think of an I feel like there's another one that I'm missing. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, kind of satisfying. Roy is kind of satisfying. I say Ike is more so though. That's fair. That's fair. Because like Marth and Marth and Toon Link are the easy ones. And then you gotta think of a third, and it's like, I don't know. <laughs> There's a. Uh, 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 Pyra uh, Neutral B? <laughs> you know. Uh, Doria? I guess Wolf. <laughs> wolf. Oh. wolf. I like guess. A wolf tail. <laughs> he's, uh, he's like. Uh, he's got him a sword. Mm. <laughs> Wolf's claws are like miniature swords. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I like playing against Aegis. I don't know if it's just me, but I just do so well against Aegis with my Marth. Mm. For like no reason. I don't know if you know uh, Luge. He's like a PNW Aegis. I just kind of like beat him when I played him. And then everybody else, which sometimes I just lose to a lot of these people. They all just like folded to him. I got like washed, and I'm like, how does that even happen? I might just be like a living Aegis counterfeit. There, I, you know what? I there's definitely some characters where it's just like, I'm not afraid of losing to them, just because like not like the character. It's just, I don't know why, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Fox is the only character that just straight up falls out of Lightning Buster because he's really he's faller. He's like the fastest faller, so he just falls out of it. That's so interesting. I that. <clears throat> Gosh, I wasn't ready for that to be punished. <laughs> Got it. I, I need to really focus on conserving the jump. He, just he really just does. Because yeah, you see, know. now I'm trying to go for it. I'm like, if I get a grounded one, he doesn't fall out of it. Yeah. Uh-oh. How do I mess that? I'm the only person in alive who messes that up. <laughs> I should have drifted back. What am I doing? Oh, shine. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't punish it, so don't... I, I can't, you know... I could, but I didn't. I just fall out of that, too. P Pyronair is low-key. Most underrated move in the game. Like, I understand up air is just better, but like, Nair is fast. It lasts so long. Mm hmm. I don't know what I was thinking with that. <laughs> that killed me, too. That was not oh, good. Why was he cooking? What? Let him cook. Nah, he ain't cooking shit. <laughs> it's burning. It's been a while since I've gotten this uh, character out. But, yeah. I enjoy playing them. Sometimes. He just doesn't get rusty. I, I enjoy playing them until Mithra starts doing really well, and I'm like, oh, I remember why this character is the best. <laughs> yeah. According uh -oh. to the Rack Global Ristermise Healer Collaborative Tier List 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was trying for that to be rare. 
See, it's a bad idea to just like use Mithrasite B at all. <laughs> yeah, but it feels so good. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? So There's tempting. like a serotonin rush tied to it. Mission complete. You just can't stop yourself from using it sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's just like the urge. It's powerful. It's always there. There we go. I'm, I'll just get. I'll just go through the entire catalog. You know, what? I might as well do that too. Some interesting matchups here. here we go. I wonder what interesting matchup we'll get today. I sure do hope arms. it doesn't involve any arms characters. Ready? Oh no. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I can work with You okay with this one? I think I can work with Mario. Here we go. I can figure out a way. I don't feel that bad playing against Mario. Yeah, this is not a terrible matchup. Character. This is not a bad matchup for Mario. Yeah. Unless I have like a really slow, like low tier character, I don't mind that much. Uh oh. I'm trying to run. <laughs> You'll never. Oh, scary. <laughs> Min Min is a character that definitely gathers rust really quickly. Min Min is a weird to play character. Mm -hmm. I remember like I took a break from Smash the entire lockdown period and I came back and I played Min Min and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and then I watched the I watched the showcase and I was like, oh, I get it. She has no specials. <laughs> I was not cooking. No text. I tried. I the button was pressed. It just not was not pressed at the right time. Two, three, four, five. I thought you thought you were going for number six and seven and eight. I got my mix-ups. That is to say. Your mix up. <laughs> That's the thing I do a miss input. I'm definitely the type of Smash player to call miss inputs and whiffing attacks of mix up. <laughs> I've done you know, I don't times. usually mess it up, so when I do, it's a mix up. You know, that's how that works. Yeah, I have it so many times where somebody tries to read my option, and I'm going to do that option, and then I just miss input, and I get to punish them for it. You ever counter, and it, the only reason it doesn't work is because your opponent messed up their attack? Worst feeling in the world. That's why I hate countering. I only counter recoveries because of that, because that happens so often. If I get a kill right here. I stole a game with Megawatt F Smash one time. Just like in an offline bracket too. This oh, poor this poor Pikachu player. I was just like I was I was at like almost 150. I killed him. At ledge, FD, and when they were at like 30 with a fully charged megawatt F smash, like air dodge read, oh they were playing Pikachu too, so it was like they were tiny. I felt oh. so bad. They won the set, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's not the kind of that's not the kind of thievery that you get multiple times a set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I if I lost that set because of that, oh my god. I yeah, I would have been heated too. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I pressed air dodge. It didn't come out. Uh, uh, we'll use the whole catalog. We'll use the, we're using everyone. <laughs> we're going to open up the magazine and pick one and be like, that one. This is smashed down now. Uh -huh. All right. You'll find this character very familiar. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, all my familiar characters are. I don't know. <laughs> the characters I don't like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, <sighs> this is probably fine. <laughs> this is probably going to be okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. No. My Roy is very mediocre. I don't know if I'm doing in this matchup. I don't know either. I, I, what's up? Hi. All right, let's do this. My Roy. Sometimes when I first picked up Roy, I just started playing him like Marth, and everything went wrong. And now I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard for me to play any other sortie, like rush down sorties like Roy, because I just play him like Marth. Oh. Oh my god. I just be hitting things. I think that's how all Roys do it, to be perfectly fair. That's true. Roy is kind of... I mean, he's his hair, it's the marinara that goes without spaghetti. That's true. He's saucing. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That's all me. <laughs> I did it! I killed him! If I never SD'd, I'd be the best player in the world, I swear to God. And I won. I literally lost a set on my on the last uh, bracket offline that I went to because I SD'd twice. Or no, it was online and it was, it was the cheese bowl. I lost the cheese bowl number three, my losers set, because I SD'd twice in game two. That's just unfortunate. It was Game & Watch Falco. That was a winning matchup, but I just kind of killed myself. Honestly, that just, ha if your hands aren't warmed up, you just. <laughs> yeah. I definitely, like, even just, like, waiting in the line of, like, an arena <laughs> or something, I get rusty. Yeah. That's why I sometimes just, like, always avoid, uh, like, really long line arenas. Mm-hmm. Air dodge there was a bad idea. As many of my ideas are. That's how you do it. <laughs> no, that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. That's what. I don't know how to do it. There you go. Good job. So that'll be twenty dollars for this coaching session. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my gosh, that would be the scummiest move of all time to like do friendlies with someone and then charge them for coaching. <laughs> <laughs> like even if you didn't mean it, just like the implication. <laughs> That's really funny. I gotta. That's that's gotta be the next like summit skit or something. Oh, I didn't have a jump. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's like one thing. You know what? I hate it when like top players of a scene or something uh, will act like they're friendlies. Like they'll only do friendlies if it's a money match. You know what I'm talking about? That's my like least favorite thing for a person to do. Top player privilege. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, I will only play you when it like if you give me money, cause like, cause what if you're just trying to play them because you just want to learn from them, you know, you just want to like yeah. grind friendlies with someone who you know is better than you. Um, uh, and it's just like, there you go. We're just gonna. Yeah, you want to know if they're better than you, so you grind out friendlies in order to try to improve. Well, I don't know. And they're like, you're only worth my time if I, if you're paying me, is how it feels, you know? Yeah, those are like... Uh, Not the best. Not the best. Oh, let's see if my Joker's up to speed. I have not played him in a hot sec. Yeah, I've literally... I've kind of, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I probably need to just focus Game & Watch solo. Yeah. Like I think I'm a, like I think I'm gonna keep the Samuses around because I think they are probably some of my best characters in the right circumstance. Um and I'll keep them for squad strike obviously, but like I feel like I need to become I, I need to dedicate mostly solo game and watch. Yeah, I find myself improving way faster when I'm just working on a solo main. And hey, well, maybe I just won't swine up for squad strike brackets. I'll save me some moolah for sure. Yeah. Three bucks. <laughs> I can get a quesarito at Taco Bell with that three bucks I would have spent on Squad Strike. Oh man. Mm. I thought you weren't expecting the upbeat hit. I, I, I've had so many moments in tournament set where I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna edge guard game and watch. <laughs> I get upbeat. <laughs> get upbeat.
I haven't used Uppy that much off stage. I usually go for back air, and I know I should go for more. The thing is, my the thing about my game watch I need to work on is connecting moves together more. Because, like, connecting nares specifically, and then, like, up B into, uh, like, up air into up B is something that a lot of people do. I need to use that, too. That's really oh, good. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> but I get pretty good just by, I get pretty far just by doing what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> oh, what's up, Dead Soul? How's it going? Welcome. Welcome into the grind sesh stream where me and Healer are here. We uh we were doing a tier list earlier. And that went really well. We had a lot of people in there. Uh we started doing a grind session and people were like, what do you mean the arena isn't gonna be public? And now it's just and it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean that's one way to gauge what viewers are interested in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just watch for when they leave. They just wanted it. Here we go. I will send. I will, I will post the dis the uh, the tier list and the thing, uh, in the Discord. But I what I want to do. I want to have the rat uh, Twitter account upload that tier list on Twitter and be like, this is the collab tier list made by Rister Mice and Healer, and then like at both of us, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that God. everyone will know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> There was nothing. There was nothing insane. No, no Pac-Man in D tier or anything like that. Oh god, big Duck Hunt fan. Ah, oh, gosh, so oppressive. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you have any complaints, please forward them too. <laughs> I'm very glad I don't actually have like an active Twitter account or anything, so I. I no. Nah. Avoid all the heat. That's why I was looking. I was looking for like. Oh, I was gonna make a Twitter announcement. And I was like, I should add him so he can like retweet it or whatever. And I was like looking through the Rat Global's like followed accounts. I'm like, he's gotta be here somewhere, right? Nope. I don't like Twitter. I just don't. I, just I understand that. Right it's a downer a lot. But it's also it's like scary. my way of keeping like actually updated. Cause like I'm thinking uh, about it. If I didn't have Twitter, I wouldn't have even known about like the all the panda stuff. Yeah. I would not have even known about that. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. My takes are pretty wacky. I won't judge. God, that last talk, you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of moments, or I have a lot of times where I just kind of like decide to stop losing. Because, like Discord stuff. Because mm -hmm. people always just repost like uh, Twitter posts in Discord. So I, that's just how I see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> it usually gives me the important stuff without having to look through all the Twitter goop. Alright, here we go. Another one. I'm gonna stay Game & Watch for the rest of this. Alright. Wait, can I experiment something real quick? Sure. I wanna see if Game & Watch Jab has a back hitbox. Okay. Hey, like, like, like get, let's get it close as we can. Alright, and then I'm uh... I swear, sometimes I hit people that are behind me. Maybe it's just because, like, they're slightly above me is what it is. Yeah. Because when someone's, like, descending, I'll get them with that. Yeah, it might have, like, a really tall hitbox, but not, like, that wide. I was about to make sure, because, like, if Game & Watch Jab really did have a back hitbox, I was about to go start labbing and just revolutionize. Name a tech after <laughs> me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get a wrist or vice Game & Watch. Back. Exactly. Where's my 1437 Ultimate video? Rister Mice making Game & Watch look godlike. Where's that, huh? <laughs> nah, I had I had the Wi-Fi series Rister Mice's Rampage. Oh. That, that one was a good one. Way more people in Cheese Bowl, though. Oh my gosh, the added, like, people. Oh my goodness, what a crazy... Because, like, I had one where it was low-key, like, a three-person tournament after DQs. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was kind of funny. <laughs> All the I graphic for that, the, the graphic for that tournament was so funny. There were seven like sandbags. Oh my god! <laughs> and I actually didn't even get top eight. Cause like even though there were so many DQs, I still managed to get like eliminated one two. Oh my god! Cause the actual people got matched up with me. I'm like, 
How is my luck that immensely bad? That's just sad. I know. Go. Ah. Yeah, bah. Yeehaw. Have a bomb, Mr. Squidward. Mr. Squidward. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the down smash. Please, anything but smash attacks. Oh my god. I have our send at the end. No. Okay. No. <laughs> not the Arsene. Oh, I should have waited it out. What am I doing? Ooh. What? I'm sorry. That up smash did not hit. So I've happy. punished DK get up attack with game and watch up smash. And you telling me that one didn't hit. That was so messed up. I actually should have just died for that one. You're welcome to SD. <laughs> no, just take another one. Just, just, just take it down there at some point. All right, here we go. One shot, one opportunity. <laughs> That's what I say every time I'm about to go for a nine. Oh my god. Every time, and every time I get like a one, I swear. Those, oh, there's so there's so many game watches. Where mm -hmm. like the first thing they do in a set is just try to go for a nine combo. Right. <laughs> I got, I wish I had that kind of that kind of mindset. <sighs> I gotta wonder if there's a guy that every single time in a low percent combo, he just goes for a nine. He doesn't want the juggle. He just, <laughs> he just, wants to just take the stock for free. That's beautiful. Here we go. Maybe maybe I'll try that strategy. Let's see how it works. Okay, one. Well, <laughs> well I don't know about it. Next time. I no, I won't. I suppose. These aren't these are combos either. I need to if I'm gonna go for a nine, I need to actually make it like a combo. You get that like nair off air into it. Mm -hmm. We're just falling nair can combo into it too. If you hit him with like the last hit of falling nair. Oh yeah yeah. Oh so close! On both ends. It could it could it was almost a nine and it almost hit you. I see. I just gotta go for it sometime. Oh. Oh. That's so pretty. Maybe Joker should have been number one after all. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't looking so top five. Ah! Oh my god, that hitbox is massive. Struggling in the current meta, my ass. This dude's thriving. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna die. His life. Oh. No! Ah! Oh, come on! The one! <laughs> it's always a one! <laughs> what? That killed? What? <laughs> what? That was so weird. I've kind of seen that game and watch placement now. <laughs> right? You talk, You see? You seeing it? He he can struggle with killing. I will say. You you either need a like an, like a good F tilt down or a down air. No, like smash yeah. attacks are good. But like people people over like no people don't overestimate how good they are. People overestimate how often. Cause like I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable just going like. Okay, well, maybe <laughs> I should. Maybe you should. Okay, two is not as bad as one. It can always be worse. Uh, it's just a primal fear every time I see Game and Watch. Just smash, dash, smash, 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 smash. <laughs> How do you punish down smash? Down smash. 
It worked! It just works. What the hell? Maybe I've been missing something in my play this whole time. I think you're just supposed to be bashing. Man, maybe this character is more similar to Aegis than I thought. <laughs> he brought so many ones. Oh my god. I know, right? I'm like the one machine, dude. And people say that soul mains exist. Pasha. Pasha. Thanks. I'm literally not gonna be able to get a full bucket before I'm literally murdered. But thanks, anyways. Ah! <laughs> I got hit by fair one and my life flash before my eyes. That's just how it is. It really is, huh? Alright, well, oh time to just start spamming down smash in all games ever. I think that's the play. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nelson9000? How's it going? Welcome into the stream. How you doing? Good, sir. How you doing? Alright, let's do another one. <laughs> no. I fear. <laughs> you fear. I what a fear. great way to start off the game. <laughs> Oh, it's Smashville. I was about to do a preemptive up B and it would have worked, but you had to come along and ruin it, you dang kids. I'd just be mashing. Man, that's something we have in common. <laughs> we just be mashing. We just do it. We just be pressing buttons. That needs to be like a like a like a gangsta SpongeBob, one of those gangsta SpongeBob images. <laughs> but it's just the caption we just be mashing. That's got to be our new channel banner. I love that image so much. I could, be, I, could I could just get like a print out of that and put it on my wall. Tell my mama we just be mashing. <laughs> no, don't smash! Not down tilt. <laughs> That's smash, you fool. Smash! Uh oh. <laughs> it works! Oh my god, why did no one tell me about this? No, everyone's been trying to tell me about this for the past 20 years. I just haven't been listening. You just, you just gotta mash. I just be mashing. Do it again! Just be mashing, man! <laughs> I'm just be mashing. You press the same button over and over, and I can't punish it no. a single time. Nothing much, just stopping by real quick. What, you be, uh, what, you, what about you so far? Doing great, thank you for asking, man. Made a tier list with another person, which was fun, because it's not just your opinion. Uh, <laughs> and getting wrecked like eight times in a row has never been so entertaining. Man. Yes! Yeah. And again! <laughs> Jab, honestly, my my most used, like, unconventional Game & Watch thing is doing a ton of jabs. Like, out of Nair, like, Falling Nair, I do a ton of Falling Nair, and I just jab out of it. That's, like, that's like an easy, like, 40. Yeah, it's a, it's a good amount of damage. I'm not a fan of how much damage Jab does. I am. I teched. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how hard, how high up that hitbox goes, and I don't want to find out. I don't know either, and I do very much want to find out. I think I'm okay. I feel like I'm playing with my life whenever I try to kill <laughs> Right? Him. We need a, like, healer getting nervous when uh -huh. he is in no threat whatsoever. Uh, there's a threat. There is a threat. <laughs> we just be mashing. Oh my goodness. Oh my music pause. That's what's been wrong. Something's been bothering me for like two games. And I just realized my music's paused. Oh. There's been no music. Maybe the music made me lose control. The music made you lose control. It did. That's why I've been doing poorly. Now that it's gone, I can shape up. Really changed my life. Go back to school, eat a margarita pizza from my hometown, and if I ever margarita see Fugo pizza. again, I wouldn't mind him calling me an idiot. Shout, shout outs if you know that. Shout outs if you know that monologue. <laughs> no. 
Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, it almost worked too. It almost hit. I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> oh, that would have done major damage. Uh oh, I have a jump. I have a jump. No! <laughs> oh. You know what? The plot armor for that one. Yeah, yeah. For real, for real. If I never buffered air dodge, I'd be the best player in the world. Here we go, man. Mars Joker makes me scared for my life. That we just imagined, yeah, that kind of makes sense when you said it'll be like gangster SpongeBob meme. I can see it in my mind right now, actually. It's there. It's yeah. Let's go, Marth. Let's we go. just we just be spacing. We just be, we do a little spacing. <laughs> we do a little spacing. Same here. I'm just imagining it. We gotta find the perfect SpongeBob gangster image for it. I send that. I can imagine the right one in my head right now. Me too. The one. <laughs> One where he just looks a little bit weird, like proportionally. And he's got those glasses with the gun pointing at the camera and the cigarette smoke. Little mafia. Yeah, yeah. Or I could see the one in the green suit. <laughs> the the yeah, green yeah, money suit where he's right. holding the dollar bills in front of him. That one's also a very good one. I think that's the one I'm thinking of right now. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Hop on Rat Global. <laughs> it's just that. Bye-bye. Ah. Ow, okay. never mind. Well, we're not okay. We're not okay. No! <laughs> I was trying to down smash so hard and accidentally hit you with F tilt. What? Ow. Quick, bucket Marth's projectile. This is the key to winning. Whoa, what kind of crazy sauce? I'd just be pulling things out. <laughs> He'd just be mashing. <laughs> no that scared reason. both of us. I'd just be pressing buttons. I'm sorry? I air dodged through it. I'm I got. I got to show you the clip of me punishing DK getup attack with that, and then look at me and tell me that that didn't hit. I, I'm just different. I'm just sauce with it. Marth better than DK confirmed. <laughs> For real? Die, please. Oh my goodness. Ah. <sighs> okay. Oh. Three, better than two. We'll start climbing and eventually I'll get to nine. You're gonna get nine and it's never going to hit me. Right. I'm gonna get nine and it's gonna be off by like a frame. What is he cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook! It's burning! Let him cook. <laughs> no! <laughs> One of these has to tip eventually. Right, right. That's how I feel playing Marth on Quick Play, too. I'm just like, if I throw out enough bears, statistically, one will be lucky enough. One of them has to, <laughs> one of them has to tip her eventually. No! Right. That one tippered! <laughs> that one has to tip her. Please, please. <laughs> this is horrible. This is the most fun I've had playing Game & Watch in a hot minute, and I'm just matching. You just gotta turn your brain off. I've just realized the secret to winning. A strategic mashing. He's gonna... Ah! Please just die. No. Ah! That actually would have hit you. I know it would have. It should have. 
And I'm still standing. I air dodged, <laughs> actually. Um, actually. <laughs> actually. Actually, I air dodged. <laughs> um, wow. That was. Hmm. <laughs> That was a learning experience. Anyways, chat, that is going to be the end of the stream today. Say goodbye to Healer. Healer, it's been a pleasure having you here. Very fun. Yeah, Thank you for coming out. I will see you later. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a raid as well. Um, should we raid a VTuber? I don't know. Should we raid the boys? Do we raid anime girl or do we raid the buzz? Oh, we don't have that many people here, so we'll go with the one that has less viewers. Which is the anime girl. <laughs> Everybody happened to the raid. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you guys for coming out. It's been a real pleasure. I hope it made you guys a day better because I know hope you guys make my day better. Every time you come out here, I'll be streaming tomorrow and I hope you guys to see you there. Farewell, everyone. Restore in the chat. I hope you have a good day. Farewell, y'all. Sorry, it took so long, guys. Well, yeah, I got to down to a couple where I was like, I didn't Take know where this would go. Enjoy your work. Well, that's fair. You both have a Yeah. Yeah.